cracking, bro. Back with another video. And on this one, I want to just kind of talk about a topic that um, I used to talk about a lot with my partner and even my ex girl a lot. Um, and it's a topic people don't touch on a lot because it's sensitive for a lot of people, especially in the generation we're living in now, with the way people are living. And this, um, does who you fucked in your past matter? All right. Now, certain people will say no because people change and um, people do things in the heat of the moment and don't look at the bigger picture usually to their um, outside of it, you know. And then they say, oh, you know what I'm saying? Now I can look at the situation as I'm outside of it. When I first I was inside of it, I couldn't and stuff like that. You got certain people that say, uh, you know what I'm saying? No, because um, sex is just sex, and sex doesn't mean anything. Therefore, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of life. And then you have certain people that say, um, no. Because it's the past, and um, you can't judge anybody. You know what I'm saying? Judging people is bad, and stuff like you know what I'm saying. Stuff like that. You got people to say shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then you got people that say it does, because um, that says a lot about um, who you are. You know, you we, you we can only deal with people who we have something in common with, which I, I agree with that kind of point. You can only deal with people who you have to have something in common with or be something attracted to. You have to see something in them that you're attracted to, something in them that you like. You know, nobody goes in completely blind, even on the one night stand, you know? Um, so, you got some people that say, yeah, because... And, and I'm one of the people that says it matters. It does matter. But I don't mean it in like a bad way. I just mean it does say something. It does kind of matter. Um, sex is... And I've already said this. Sex is, more, sex is more spiritual than people realize. The only reason sex seems physical is because we live in a time where it's been purposely... We've been purposely over-sexualized. The media is over-sexualized. Um, the food has steroids in it that has that over sexualize us. Our kids are over sexualized at school and just the cartoons they watch, they're hyper sexualized. So we have sex so much that it 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 becomes like nothing. It's almost just like killing today. We see killing so much on TV, the internet, movies, that murder has become like nothing. It's like water it's just like milk being it's just like water being spilled. No one really cares. Um sex the same way. But sex actually um, is more spiritual than people think. When you are a man and you have sex with a woman, she takes on your spirit. And if you and ladies, when you have sex with a man, you you take on his you you do take on his spirit. Now, a woman, a man can't take on a woman's spirit. You got some men that do. That's really rare, though. But um, for the most part, they don't. The, the woman take over the man's the, the, the man the man's spirit takes over the woman this is why you can have a girl who goes to school and um, votes and does everything and lives like by the rules and the law and she can start dating a thug and after so while she will start to develop thuggish ways and become a thug just like him that's spiritual that's not that's not being around that, that's spiritual people don't get that people say that's just being around somebody developing mannerisms but that's that's spiritual okay so, if you have, if you're a woman and you have sex with a killer, a, a, a thug who's a killer, and you've been fucking him for years, you're going to develop a spirit like that. You're going to develop a very shysty, dark, um, conniving, mean, very evil spirit. Just like, and I'm not trying to say all gang members are evil. I'm trying to say if you're dating a killer. And don't get twisted. I'm not wearing this on my head because I'm a gang member. I'm just a. I, I just, my favorite color is blue. 
and I'm gonna wear whatever the fuck I wanna wear, and can't nobody tell me what I can't wear and what I can't do. Just like nobody can tell me what I can't say. I'm no one's slave and I'm nobody's property. Nobody. Even my own people. So, with that being said, um, I'm talking about if you date like a killer, you'll develop a killer spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, and for men, it, 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 even though we don't take on women's spirit, it matters for us because if you dating a woman who has no, no really care about herself, no real care about herself, and she just looks beautiful, she wears it, she wears a lot of clothing for, for attention, and you don't really care, um, you will, you will develop a spirit of a whoremonger, and what that means was you'll start pimping your wife. That's why you have dudes now who, um, instead of, and, 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 and that goes with you, so when you meet another woman, if she's smart enough to look in your past, she can tell that you're some kind of guy that you don't truly care about your woman's decency, you don't really care if your woman respects herself, that says a lot about you as a man, actually says that you're a sorry ass dude. So, just because we don't develop women's spirit, guys, that don't mean, I, I want to, I'm not trying to say this to make the ladies feel good, but we don't get away. You know what I'm saying? Real yeah, shit. We don't, we don't get away. But, um, yeah, ladies, it's detrimental to you, because if you, if a man, listen, I don't, I know this is going to come off of, we, the, mo the way the Most High made it, we're supposed to have multiple wives, us as men. And the reason that is, is is because not all, not all, but certain men the Most High deems good men, real men. He wants our seed spread further than just one woman. And also, a man's sexual libido is different than a woman's. We naturally could feed for other women because we are visual creatures. Women are emotional creatures and philosophical. This is why even though they do, it's harder for women to cheat than men. The only women who cheat super easy like that are, are women who are just don't have no self and I, and I know it sounds kind of fucked up. And I know people going to say, oh, he on that spiritual bullshit. I'm not, I don't give a fuck if you We pass people believe in spiritual shit now. If, you don't, if you're not spiritual, in the time we're living in now with all this shit going on, you're just a fucking idiot. But anyway, um... The only women that can cheat like that and don't give a fuck are just women who have no soul, no respect for themselves, and they probably already been destroyed. Most of them have been, it's sad to say, most of them have been raped as children, so they already devalued themselves when they was like five and their dad was fucking them from the back. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. But the women that it is, that's the reason it is harder for women to cheat than men. Women are philosophical and women are not built like that. Men are visual. We're built to have. To, and also, and also, this is another thing too. Men, as we do do to have multiple wives, we're supposed to take care of all of our wives. This is why we live in a time now where people are doing it wrong. Like, all the niggas that got side chicks, if you have a side chick, your wife should know about her. She should she should be well taken care of. She should have food, clothing, and a shelter, all because of you. That actually is something that the most high was name. Now, I know it's harder to do now because the society we live in and the way they built the world is very hard to, for one person to support themselves men or women, let alone take on the responsibility of supporting two and like, you know, entire whole family without getting some kind of career and making a whole, and, and even then when you get a career man, they don't, most people don't pay most people and I'm going to say it the, the truth, most women don't know how to live below their means, most women listen to the media and listen to what their fucking friends say, so they got to live with the Joneses so even if they get a man with a lot of money they'll try to live, like to have a lot of money instead of living like regular, so you keep a lot of money we're not going to get into that, but, um, you know, it's very hard. So we live in a time where people have to do what we do. So and so now we live in a time where there's nothing wrong where a, a man and a woman, a woman and a man go and have on bills. But I really do believe the most high going to put us back in the time of the beginning where men have multiple wives and we're going to be able to, to provide for all our wives. You know what I'm saying? Because you're supposed, you're supposed to do. You know, but I'm not going to just jump into that topic. I'm not going to try to get off topic. But um, men are visual. Creatures. Women are not visual. Women are philosophical. Women fall in, love, fall in love with what they hear. And also what they see as well. But more what they hear and what they feel than what, more than what they see. A dude could just fall in love with what he see. A woman could literally suck five dicks that day, come walk up to a dude. He won't even look at her personality, look at the way she do, act, talk, walk, her womanism, or I don't know what you call it, any of that shit. Soon as she says she wanted to do, gonna take her in there and he gonna be a six. See what I'm saying? So that's us. 
a dude that does that all day, a woman will kind of check you out, like, hold the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You got some women that are stupid, and they took on the spirit of men who are, what's the name, so they do dumb shit. But um, for the most part, people don't do that. Well, women don't do that. But, um... <coughs> But um, also I got a frog in my throat. I don't know. Every time I do my YouTube video, I just get a frog in my throat. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. I think that it says your past. The who you have sex with in the past, it doesn't show who you're going to be in the future. It just shows who you were at that moment and um, whose spirit. You, if you're a woman, whose spirit you took on, and whose spirit might still be inside of you. Real shit. So that's why you might still be hash. You might have some crazy ways. Or some of y'all get me give women and they thug the fuck. You be like, damn, bro, this bitch more gangster than do. Because the last nigga she will was probably gangster the fuck out. She still got that spirit on her. And it's more. It's gonna take more than sex to shake that off of her. You are gonna have to 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 teach her, spirit, teach her about spirituality, about who she is, whether she be a Hebrew or Gentile.